I'm now going to change the layout on this uh, application. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to learn how to make a, a vertical layout and have a button that hides or adds the data grid into the application. So we're going to go with the vertical layout, a spark layout. And in this uh, class, it's usually best to describe the horizontal alignment, and uh, especially with uh, the way a lot of uh, different screen sizes exist, using center is always a good idea. There's also a padding top number, so I'm going to add it to 20, just so it's not crunched up against the, the top of the uh, application. Now, in order for this to work, we're going to have to wrap the data grid in a group. And a group is a uh, spark element. Uh, so this will flow vertically. So let's just go down and uh, get to the bottom of the data grid and add in the closing button. I guess I'll put it in after the corresponding uh, button that goes. So these should flow out now. And what we want to do is also add a button at the top that is the pop-up. But before we have to do that, we have to add a pop-up anchor. So a pop-up anchor is used to control uh, the position that uh, something pops up and down on. And if you have something like a data grid a list, which could be very large, a pop-up anchor is a very nice thing to have. So everything down to button we will put inside of this. So I'm back at the pop-up anchor and because we're going to control it we have to give it an ID. So the pop-up anchor ID will click will be just simply pop up and we have to give it a pop-up position. The pop-up position can be above, below, center, left, right, top, left. so there's a lot of different choices here. And you can, of course, use offsets on these as well. Um, for the width on mine, I'm going to use 250 pixels. And I'm going to take a height of 100% of what's available. 